Hi, my name is Dex from MyConsult and since 2003, we have been helping business owners simplify their accounting processes. So we actually started this channel so that we can help more people use their accounting systems more effectively. And if you like what we are doing here today, do like and subscribe to support us today. So in today's video, we will be looking at Bill of Material Module or BOM inside AutoCOM. So BOM module is used to convert raw materials in AutoCOM into finished goods. So before we begin, first thing we need to do is we need to create our products first. So what happens is we can come here, drag it to the right. So under stock item maintenance, let's create a new item. So let's say we create a FG002 for your finished goods. And then here we put the product the finished goods all right so the rest all i will not control for today's example but what happens is in my unit of me measurement here i will put this as liter okay so means i will measure this under liter format okay so once you're done we just press okay so once you're done we also would need to create the raw material in this example so we come here to stock item maintenance we create rm001 raw material one. and then after that here we put here s also under liter okay you know stock item maintenance rm002 for raw material number two and here we put here liter and lastly we create a new product called rm003 for raw material 003 and then from here we put here liter Alright, so if you realize my example, we are using liter. So if your uh, BOM that you are using is relating to weight or volume, like liter or kg, then the important thing that you need to do is you must set up the decimal points because from liter we can use ml, for kg we can go up to grams, correct? So come here to tools here, under here options. Here we got one called decimals and then from here the quantity decimals. So for my example, I always make sure that if you are using kg or liters, put it as three decimal points. Okay. So once we're done, we just press all right. Okay. So once we are ready, now we can start building your product. So again, BOM is like a formula. So this is just the basic formula. And when you do your real production, it might be different because you might use extra products or might be there some extra damage or wastages. All right. So to do this, we must come here to stock more stock item maintenance and come to item BOM maintenance. So let's say we press new now for today's example. And here we will select our product called FG002, finish good number two. And what happens is how much raw material I need to produce this finish goods number two. Okay. So here we will select, just now we create the RM raw material 001 raw material 002 and raw material 003 okay so we have three products how much do we need to produce one liter of finished goods so from here we can put here the quantity so let's say to make this i need 0.5 liter this i need 0.3 liter and i need 0.4 liter okay so what happens is if you look at here let me open the screen a bit bigger here there's one called a cost fraction so cost fractions is usually if you can convert your finished goods back into raw material then they'll spread out the cost according to what is the fraction that you have if not then uh it's not a compulsory field but the uh, system will always just prompt you for this okay so for this example i will just put here 0 0.33 0 0.34 and 0 0.35 to get you sorry 3 33 34 and 33 all right so the other thing that we need to take note of is of course your costs so for me i always like to use up-to-date costs from the up-to-date costs in the item all right so that's for me i would like to use that all right once we're done we just press save and the system has saved it so this is how easy it is to actually set up your bom formula inside auto count all right so i would like you to recommend uh, to stay tuned for next week so that uh, in the next video we will look into how we can actually convert sales orders into assembly orders if you have a topic or guide you like us to cover do leave it in the comment below all right thank you